Hello everyone, welcome to my Unity 3D tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at exporting a cube from Blender and importing it into Unity 3D. Um, I'm using 2.5, so I know some of you might know that with Unity 3D, you can just you know drag and drop uh, the actual uh, raw dot blend or dot ma uh, which is for Maya or you know any basically the natural saves of the program you could just drop them right in and Unity 3D will just pick them right up um, however with 2.5 uh, to my knowledge with Unity 3.3 which is the one I have at the time of this tutorial uh, doesn't support it um, which is no big deal because it just converts it all over to FBX anyway so we might as well just go on ahead and export it out to FBX. Okay, so we have a very simple cube. And I'm going to add a plane. Now, I'm just going to scale it up 10. All right, now, uh, with um, Unity 3D, uh, it's for scale issues. Well, for scale reasons, um, you want to keep it at default when you're inside of Blender. Otherwise, like you want to keep the scale, you don't want to adjust Blender scale and when you export you want to keep scale equal to one, but we'll cover that in just a second. Um, otherwise, uh, you know, you'll get, you know, say a plane that's like 50 unity units, which is 50 meters, and that wouldn't really be very useful. Um, going to go on ahead and combine these two objects so shift click the plane control J all right now I'm just going to quickly do a smart UV project on wrap all right so now we have UVs now what we could do uh, I'm going to cover this for the light mapping we could go to our object data and we could create a second UV and unwrap it but we're not going to in this tutorial you're feel free to um, but we're going to let Unity 3D unwrap the second UV channel for our uh, light mapper. All right. So one other thing I want to cover. Um, what if we want to have like uh, what would be a good example? Okay, say we want to have like two materials on one object. Um, in order to do this, uh, you would go into edit mode. And I'm just going to call this cube material or cube mat. And that will be for our cube, obviously. I'm going to go to face select here. And I'm just going to select our cube. And I'm going to create a brand new material. And I'm going to call this plane mat. Oops. And then I'm going to click assign. Now, what I've done is, is basically what we could do is we could say we can give this um, plane right here say a different ground texture or something and we can give our cube a completely different one all right so let's go ahead and export out so we're just going to go to file export autodesk fbx and we're just going to dump it to the desktop and i'm just going to call this cube plane now over here um we're going to want to disable enable animations. We don't want that because uh, obviously we don't have animations. Um, and smoothing, I'm just going to leave this to face. And I'm just going to get rid of empty camera, lamp, and armatures. All we want is our mesh data. We'll leave forward at negative Z is the forward and Y is the up. And we'll leave scale at 1. And we're just going to export. Okay. Now let's jump over to Unity. And I need to clear out some stuff I was using for testing earlier. Sorry about that. Now we could right click and then import new asset. And we could navigate to our cube. And we could just hit import. And we'll have our cube. Alternatively, you could just drag and drop. Either method works great. And I believe you can also go to Assets, Import New Asset. There's a variety of ways to do multiple things inside of Unity. Okay, so let's select it. 
and you'll notice that it already has created everything inside of a prefab and you'll see we have the FBX importer now because we didn't actually export our animation uh, we don't have one but I'm going to go in and select to don't import and we want to change the scale factor to 1 by default it sets it to 0 0.01 we could have it automatically generate colliders swap UVs you could uh, mesh compress uh, this will lower the quality of the mesh um, obviously on something as simple as ours probably won't do anything at all so we're just going to just off we want to generate light map UVs and you could customize this if you'd like but default seems to work okay now down here in our preview you can see that we don't actually have uh, proper import and normals uh, so we're going to calculate the normals and then we're going to click apply and this will enable everything we've done. Alright, so now we have normals that are applied properly. Now I'm just going to drag and drop this cube plane into our scene and I'm going to position it at 0, 0, 0. Alright, so here we go. It's 10 units and just to double check, we're going to create other, we're going to go game object, create other, we're going to create a point light which is at default 10 units and we're going to put it at 0, 0. And then I'm just going to go to Y from the top and you can see that each point in the radius of the light is directly lined up and our cube is perfectly aligned, or sorry not aligned, perfectly scaled for unity and I'm just going to create a light, uh, directional light and set it to 45, 45 and I'm going to enable soft shadows. Alright so the second thing that you probably already noticed is we already have our new materials and they have our name. We have our name when we game plain mat and cube mat. And we're going to go to our textures folder that we have created in our tutorial assets. And I'm going to drag and drop the gray for the plane and scale it 10 10. And as you can see our material has been applied properly and our cube is alone without any texture at all so I'm going to mm, no sorry 0 0.5 wouldn't work well I'll just leave this at 1 and you can see that now because the way we unwrapped it it probably won't unwrap very well um, but you can see that our material is separate and applied Okay, uh, the next thing we're going to take a look at real quick is adding uh, colliders. We won't go too advanced into it in this tutorial, um, but select it in your project folder, and we're just going to generate the colliders, then hit apply. Now when we select our objects, we have colliders, and we could enable the mesh that it's using is obviously the plane. and you could enable it to be a convex mesh and then if you were to walk on this you know you would walk like down you know except for right here but you can see the green is our um, collision mesh alright so I'm going to turn that off and if we if you have uh, the standard assets you could just drag and drop the first person controller and you should be able to walk around Alright, so that concludes this tutorial. In this tutorial, you learned how to import, well, create an object inside of Blender and then export it into Unity 3D. If you have any questions, uh, stop by the forums or the IRC. And please follow me on Twitter if you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm doing and when the next tutorial will be uploading and when it's finally out. Thank you.